back to my channel happy 2017 you guys i cannot believe 2016 is over like i have not seen one post that said 2007 2016 was it was was everything like i think everyone was overwhelmed and drained by 2016 i mean it just it seemed like it was so much that happened people had so many things going on in their life like it was just one of those years it was just can we just erase it and wipe it out already please but it's over you guys and 2017 i already feel is going to be epic it's going to be a great year for dreams and visions and all kinds of great positivity so just please be patient with it and please embrace it because it is going to be great. Give it no other choice but to be amazing. So now that that's out the way, you guys, I am here to do my favorites of 2016. I am a tad bit late, but you guys know with the holidays, with the new year, it's busy, it's hectic, things have happened. Um, I overindulged in sweets, so I had a crazy breakout, so I could not get on here you guys because it was just all bad but i have saved myself and i am ready to give you guys this video so i'm gonna quit chatting and get straight to it so you guys know i love beauty products i love things for hair makeup whatever the case may be so i'm going to let you guys know i narrowed it down i'm looking away because i have like six palettes here but I really think I've narrowed it down because I watched my videos and caught myself being repetitive on some of the same videos. I mean, on the same items over and over. So I'm going to just go ahead and claim them as my favorites and just be done with this. So let's just go there. You guys have seen this palette over and over and over. I can't probably stress how much this palette did for me in 2016. It was just my go-to, my everything. It was just an amazing palette. It's pigmented. It is everything. It's inexpensive. Um, I got mine from Ulta. I mean, you guys have seen these colors. You guys have seen how rich and warm and just beautiful they are. I think I go to this palette with every eye look probably 70% of the time last year just because it just had some great neutrals which i love neutrals those are great for like the summer spring and the winter like this palette does it all so i absolutely love this palette um the great thing about this is that it has some amazing transition colors so even though you might not like to wear darker shades these are great to put as transitions on top of your neutrals or your bold looks so this palette just was really everything to me it was so amazing and I got two because it's just it's like that big ups to Tarte for this one this was amazing love it and you guys also know I raved about this palette because I was on the search for this high and low I looked everywhere and no I did not want to order it online if you guys know me you know I always say I want to go and purchase it see it feel it touch it so that's what I did it finally came to Ulta and I had to go get it because these colors you guys are so amazing this was really great for the fall so i got this probably right before fall maybe and these colors are really great for that transition like fall is a transition so all of these nice warm bold reds oranges are really great for like the fall because it matches your surroundings i'm big on doing looks that match the environment so big ups to those two palettes i went ahead and narrowed it down to one two contour palettes um, and that was going to be the Black Radiance palette. You guys know this is my holy grail go-to. If you're looking for a palette, this is it. Look no more. Look no more. They also have this in light to medium. I got medium to dark for my skin shade. But it is just so warm and so rich. It's very inexpensive. I got this from Walmart, I think, for like six bucks or so. So, yes, this palette is amazing. It's got great highlight colors, sculpting colors, contour colors, which is ideal for anyone. This is great for beginners, advanced artists, whomever. This palette is really rich and warm. And like I say, it is my holy, holy grail. Love it. So I don't really use a lot of cream to contour, 
but if I do, I've liked this palette so much. This is the Ulta Cream Contour Kit. I got this toward the end of winter, but it is really, really amazing. I don't like heavy, thick makeup. So when contouring, I want to be able to blend it out. I want it to also um, look flawless with my makeup, my foundation, my powders. And this actually does it. It's really light, you guys. And it just is really nice. It's only one palette. You don't have to buy five and six for your shade. It just has multiple shades in it. This is great for um, your clients, things like that. Yourself. I use it for myself. I haven't used a lot of it, but it really is smooth and blendable. So it makes it amazing to work with. So I absolutely love this palette. Uh, let's see. Foundation. So you guys... You know, I always have a favorite foundation, whether it's my absolute fave, my fave fave, my most used fave, like, I say fave a lot. I don't know. It's just my thing. But I've narrowed it down to two. And again, all of these things are really inexpensive. Um, drugstore, a few high end, but I'm trying to make it really kind of in between for everyone to be able to access. So... These two products are it, you guys. The Maybelline Fit Me, you know, when the first summer came, I was like, this is my holy grail. This is my go-to. Your girl is shiny. Like, she be, listen, this is a matte and poreless, and it really does keep you matte all day. Like, I'm so serious. No lie. Not getting paid. This is life. It's really good. It really, really is. So, I love it. And I also like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Although it says Pro Glow, it doesn't leave my face feeling wet and dewy. Like, it, to me, it, it almost gives a nice finish. Like, it's not super matte, but it's just like, I'm wearing it today. It's just like really subtle. Like, it's just really good. I've been using these two together, and I have loved the coverage. I have loved it. It's not too thick. It's not too much, but you don't want to overdo it, but just mix equal parts. And these two, you guys great together I think I only have one highlighter mm, yeah I'm gonna go with this one because this one is my favorite I actually have a couple of these by makeup revolution but this is the vivid baked bronzer in golden days and it has been like my go-to it's just so soft and subtle and paired with like a darker gold highlight and this on top you guys this is life so I'm wanting to, to have life. I'm wanting to be lit. So this is what I use. I mean, it's really, really good. It's amazing. I mean, it's just really pretty. Just a really pretty highlight. So I don't want to give you guys like 20 and 30 items because it's just about my favorites for the year and what I really feel like would be great items for you all to purchase. So that's what kind of what I'm doing here. Also, <clears throat> you guys know I like the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer for my brows. Um, but I also like this NYX and I went and found this. It's a full coverage concealer. It's in the color Nutmeg and I've been using this on top of my brows to kind of clean and define them and I have loved this. This is like $4 at Ulta and usually 80% of the time they have like buy one get one half off. So it's like hella cheap. Like this is something that you might want to try to get because it is really nice and affordable and it works really great. It blends really well. There's no crazy halo on your eyebrows. I know you guys see it, but we're just going to keep it 100. This actually is a really, really great. So I encourage you guys to go out and try to find this in your local area. Favorite primer is going to be the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. I wanted to get it right because I want you guys to get the right product. They do have several different primers, so I want you guys to get the right one. It's this one with the red top. It is great. It says last up to eight hours and it truly does, you guys. By the end of the day, I'm still looking good. I don't have to blot. I don't have to get in a powder refresh. Like, I don't like having to apply makeup all day long. It just isn't fun for me. I hate packing my makeup bag. So, this really works. It's really great and affordable. Um, Walmart, Ulta, CVS, anywhere has this in your area. So, oh, let's see. Favorite pencils, you guys know I love the um, Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil in Black Brown. I do not use brown. I do not use black because it's too dark. I use black brown and it works. So, you guys, if you're looking for a great pencil, this is it. Really inexpensive. 
Also for my waterline under eye, I like the Rimmel um, Cold Pencil in Black Magic. You guys, this is so smooth. Like they named it perfectly. Like it's like magic. It just goes on effortlessly. So if you're a beginner, if you're new to doing eyeliner, this is something that's great for you because it's just so easy and it's so effortless. Like trust me, it's the bomb. And you guys know I raved about this bronzer when I found it. I looked high and low. It is still my absolute fave. It is the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze. I do love this. This is really great for us dark brown skin girls, whatever you want to call it. This is a really great thing to contour with. I mean, it's just really pretty soft and expensive. It's all those great things in one, and it just looks really nice. It really does. You guys know, favorite um, setting powder is the Sasha Buttercup. I ordered this off of Amazon, and I have not regretted it yet. It is so great, so amazing. I love it. It doesn't leave any flashback. Like I use it in all my photos, pictures, photo shoots, anything like that. I use this. This works. It's great, and it's really great for any skin tone. So if you're in doubt because of your skin tone, this works for all shades. I promise you guys, you will not regret it. This is a must-have. Favorite mascara, very inexpensive, Revlon Lash Potion. I think this is like $5, but I've used this for two, maybe more years. I love this product. It is great. It is amazing. It makes my lashes look so good. It doesn't clump. It's just, it's my everything. So this is my mascara. I don't use anything else. That's what I use. To moisturize my lips prior to any kind of lip color any kind of matte you guys know i like the baby lips from maybelline so go and try this you guys they have so many different ones like when i first got it i think it was like four different ones now it's like 10. i'm gonna just stick with this one because i know but they have so many to choose from they're super inexpensive like three four dollars but it does keep you moisturized especially if you're gonna wear matte lipsticks or lip glosses you definitely want to have moisture underneath so that is key um, to definitely having a great um, healthy lip care routine. So my favorite concealer. So this is not a concealer that I use for covering up blemishes. This is just a concealer that I use for my highlight under eye. So this is the Maybelline um, concealer in the color Cafe and I love it. It's like $5. It is worth every penny. If you go to Ulta, usually they have a really good sale. Like I said, buy one, get one 50% off. So if you want to try it, it's definitely worth trying. I love it. I probably won't use anything else. I mean, I use other stuff, but like that's holy grail status. Like I love that particular one. And I think that's all for makeup. That's pretty much all the ones I chose to kind of condense down for this video. But I'm gonna get on to a scent that I love. And that is going to be the Flower Bomb fragrance. This is like my new little fave that I've been wearing religiously. So I'm gonna say 2016, this was my favorite um, perfume. It's just really soft. I mean, it gives you that grown woman smell, but it's not like, grown you know what i'm saying like it's just really nice and subtle but it gives you that fragrance like that when you walk past whoo what yes this is really good i got this i think at macy's i'm not really sure but you know any department store will have flower bombs so if you guys are looking for a really nice subtle feminine fragrance this is gonna be it okay so let's move on to a different topic for right now you guys know, I think I gave my skincare regimen in another video earlier this year. Um, and you guys know I was raving about, <coughs> excuse me, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. After I do my skincare regimen for the day or the night, um, after I um, cleanse, exfoliate, whatever, this is how I moisturize. It is really great if you guys have pre-existing scarring, um, any kind of acne scarring, things like that. This is really good to use daily. Um, overnight to help get rid of some of those dark spots and blemishes. It's worked wonders in my skin. So I definitely would encourage you guys to go pick up this because it is amazing. It really is. 
you guys know I love this product. I was introduced to it last year and it is part of my routine after I cleanse my face. I do use this product here. It's just witch hazel. It can be found anywhere. Whole Foods, grocery stores, Walmart. Um, it's like about $4, but it's a really good astringent to help kind of keep your pores and face clean and everything like that. So go try that. And last but not least, your good old fashioned H2O. You guys, I cannot stress enough this year, 2017 and forward, how important it is to drink water. This is my little health kick, health nut, whatever you want to call it, rant for the day. But drink your water, you guys. Like I said, I overindulged over the holidays and my skin showed. So your body will tell you like what's going on inside. It reflects on the outside. Trust me. As soon as I got back on my water, all that went away and cleared up. And you guys, I'm just telling you, it's a lifesaver. You really do want to drink a lot. So if you drink six, drink 12. If you drink eight, drink 16. However many, you, how many bottles you drink, just go ahead and increase that a little bit and just really get on a routine. So are you drinking a lot of water? I have to get this down today and I will. But yeah, that's my little piece of information for the New Year's. I hope you guys had um, a great New Year, a great holiday. I'm so excited about the direction of my channel this year. I love all the comments and support and the love. I really do, you guys. So thank you for rocking with your girl. It's going to be amazing. Um, what else? Keep the questions coming. Keep the comments coming. I love talking to you guys. Any suggestions on videos? You guys know I'm always open. So please let me know. And until next time, you guys.